Hello, and welcome to Law Story Time. It's me, Claw, and I'm here with SD Nona. Hi. And today we are doing a very special one for our um, second episode. But, well, th- yeah, second. The yeah, mm-hmm, second. F- fifth one we've recorded. <laughs> we've released two. We've not, we released one. It's yes. in the wild. It's nowhere yet. <laughs> but it's in the wild. It's out there. So, a little. So this, this one's special? This one's special. Okay. Um, what happened the other day is we lost some checks. Oh, boy. Uh, you were there. I know. I remember. Known as my quite, wife. It was quite a troubling day. Yeah. So, we lost the checks and we had to pay for our kids' daycare the next day. And we looked everywhere. For those <laughs> checks, that little crunch there was Nona. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> but we were looking for the checks, and I found something. And I thought, this is going to be our second podcast. Okay. For Law Story Time. Okay. So, I want you to read this title on on mic. Mm, claw, seventh period. Sixth grade Turner Middle. That's right. These are my stories from middle school. Wow. Sixth grade. So I'm okay. Not, I'm not going to read them completely. Okay. But I'm going to read them to you mm-hmm. like I'm pitching you a novel idea <laughs> from my sixth grade uh, oh, stories. Okay. Okay. All right. So just so you know, this is from... So what, why were these written? Were these like a journal thing you had to do for a class or I, what? That sounds right. Um, I did write like um, it's not a new development that I want to be a writer. I've written stories pretty much my whole life. Right. So that uh, <laughs> that's probably why I just the reason I laughed is I just looked down and I made myself a fictional character in this story. <laughs> oh, great. OK. Yeah. This isn't even <clears throat> um, a fake story. This is a true story. Um, How true. It's very true. Okay. So, uh, I'll tell you the real story. You know, I'm going to read you just the first paragraph. Mm -hmm. I'm Rocky. Mm. I'm a bird. I'm a lost bird. I fell out of my nest and was given to a human with a boy. That boy's name is Chris. Boy, (laughs) I'm hungry. (laughs) No, I think it's boy, I'm hungry. Not like he was saying, boy... (laughs) No, it's just, Yo, boy, boy give me some food. Mmm, good food. Liquid worms. Mm. I wonder why it comes out of a tube. Ooh. So, uh, this was a bird that one of our neighbors found and gave to us to um, rehabilitate. Mm-hmm. That doesn't sound like the right word. It, no, it did not. It did not like have a right drinking word. problem. <laughs> I think it's still the right word. It had fallen out of a nest. Our um, neighbors gave it to us and lived in our garage for about a month. I um we would feed it like the serum stuff. And uh then, serum? Yeah. Then it got into some rat poison and died. So that's Oh my um, god. Yeah. How awful. Yeah. That poor bird. But this was the bird that I had for a month. That poor lost little bird. Huh. All right. So here I'm going to try to pitch it to you. Okay. All right. So this is a true story. It's a story of love and of loss. It's a story of human and animal connection. Mm. There's a little boy. There's a little bird. A lost bird. Mm. And that little boy takes care of that bird. Until something tragic happens. (gasps) What? Do you want to buy this story? Kinda, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> so, oh no, you know what? I didn't even read the ending. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the ending. I'll eat anything that fits in my mouth. On the rack, maybe there's something on the rack. No, under the car. No, under the water thing. Yes, green stuff. That's the end of the story from 1999. Wow. Um. Okay. Yeah. So no ailing animals in your care. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um. Well, that's 
I'm I'm glad you bought that. And I do like how it starts. I'm Rocky. I'm a bird. Mm. I'm a lost bird. <laughs> because that feels like a shitty poem. Aww. All right. So this one is uh, <laughs> apparently it used to be called the sacrificey. The what? The sacrificey. Uh, that's a race now. <laughs> Okay. The setting. Yeah, you can actually see it where it's actually been erased. Like yeah, the... that's how lazy I was. I <laughs> would just <laughs> didn't even fully hey, erase it. You knew <laughs> if you read this, it's like when you uh, recall an email that you send and somebody reads the original <laughs> email, mm. and then they comment on you like, "No asshole, I hit the recall button. You saw the recall message, and you didn't <laughs> like you. No, I made the effort. Like you have to forgive that." Okay. <laughs> All right, so... Personal much? Yeah. This is the setting. A long desert trip in the army. I see now why my teachers wrote home a lot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. All right, so there's a <clears throat> long... It's a the setting's desert trip in the army. Mm-hmm. And there's a man named Ed, and he's on a long trip. Mm-hmm. That's been established. It was a long trip. Yeah. And Ed meets someone on the way there. That man said, my name's Bud. I train dogs. Train me. Dogs. <laughs> nice. Ed said with no <laughs> excitement. That's why I'm here. Here. Said Bud. Why are you here? I got it right. I got it wrong. And then I got it right. <laughs> Ed said, I'm here to get the money and go to college. That's you know what? That's why I joined the Air Force. Oh yeah. Yeah, so, I seem to recall. Well, I seem to recall that's why we got married. Yeah, that is exactly why. <laughs> About an hour later, Bud had a heart attack. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> uh this one's also from nineteen ninety nine. Ed thought that he could he should take one of Bud's jobs. He took Killer, a trained army dog. After a month, Killer and Ed were inseparable. Oh. Ed to train other dogs. Uh huh. A month later, bells clashed. We're in war, people yelled. <laughs> Ed, the sergeant began. <laughs> You're the new doctor. <laughs> the other one leaves today. Oh, what is that's how what? That's how wartime doctors are. D- what? <laughs> Ed's a Ed's a man of many. You don't <laughs> learn how to train dogs without first getting your doctorate in oh. army warfare. Oh, okay. Ed learned to help people. Ed hears a loud gunshot and turns. Mm. A bullet head for his heart oh. has been shot. Oh. A bullet headed for his heart has been shot. Mm. It's too late. He can't run. <gasps> he closed his eyes. Mm. A second later. He hear a loud yelp. He opened his eyes to see a dog body on the ground. <gasps> no! It was no, killer. No, I don't want it. No, 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 the no. The black no. German shepherd lay there. Ed waited for killer to stand up. Then knew, then know he wasn't going to. I hate all of this. I don't know. Ed took off his jacket and put it on the injured dog. He picked up killer. <laughs> dog and ran to the <laughs> hospital. <laughs> The, now, the words kind of got caught in the, uh, let's see if we can make it out. Mm. The dog at the hospital, that's in that's in parentheses, the dog at the hospital, mm-hmm. walked out with his hands, but no, that has to be doctor. Okay. W- the doctor at the hospital. Okay, okay. <laughs> walked out with his hands out his back. <laughs> that wasn't a good shot, the doctor said. Ed realizes he has Killer behind his back. He says, let me see Killer. The doctor hands Ed a cloth. Ed opens it, and there are puppies. Ed buried Killer, Bud, and began to train the puppies. Do you want to buy that story? No. I hate all of it. I'm sorry, Uh, babe. uh, That one... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't... I can't... I can't do... I can't do it. That, that one poor, had some good twists doggy. and turns. Some great. Yeah, it was definitely a twist. I told you I wasn't going to read these, but I'm going to read them. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to skip this one for now because that, that second podcast, that one's entitled mm. Autobiography. Oh, wow. So okay. And we might, it, we'll circle around to these next two. And if there's enough time, <gasps> maybe we'll find out what 1998 Chris was like. <gasps> okay. Oh, this one's, this one's probably a biography. The person I wrote about is Tony Useless Walker. He is a World War II veteran. He was about 20 when he was sent to Germany. About 20 <laughs> in this biography. Yeah, he's he's about Somewhere 20. Around. Sent to somewhere in Eastern Europe. It was about 10 people with him. The number was German 10. Their number was German 10. I don't know what that means. <laughs> There's a comma here, but it, I can't tell if it's just a... Let's Let's do it without the comma. Their number was German 10. His brother's number was German 12. That must be like a... Like a call sign? I, I guess. I could see I could see 6th grade Chris being... Uh, that's a good call sign. This might have been made up. I, I certainly hope so if his name is useless. It's... Maybe it was supposed to be Ulysses. I hope so. <laughs> but that is useless. It's you, Lessy. <laughs> useless. That's awful. Uh, so, Tony was the leader of his crew, unlike his brother, Tommy. Tom, uh. or Tommy, was older than his brother, Tony, mm-hmm. although Tony was smarter. Oh. He brought home A's and B's. Tommy's highest grade was A. <laughs> that that <That's> seems <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> but no, it's like lowercase a. His lowest grade was A. I think that's a C. Oh, a C. I thought it was a... <laughs> I thought it was parentheses. Oh, honey. Uh, Tommy's highest grade was a C. That's why he came to the army. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. That's still a great... You know what? I could send this to some Air Force friends and be like, even in the seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> you knew. Oh, my gosh. Tony followed his brother. Tony was a great soldier like his brother. Wow. Tony would live. Unlike Tommy. Oh, God. Tony received... Why has everyone died? <laughs> I know. What is wrong with these? I told you. And you know what? It's I've been an emo since day sixth grade. I guess. <laughs> Tony received a letter that said, Tommy Abraham Walker was killed in combat. Aww. You know what? I think I did make these names up because they're both uh, presidents. <gasps> oh. There was all Tommy could bear to read. Mm. The next day, Tommy's group had been captured. Tony fought for his brother. He was very skilled. He went on and did many things. (laughs) He helped drop the second atom bomb. He received the red badge of courage. I know I wrote this because I have a bad habit of being like, no one's going to believe he was on the first atomic bomb. No one knows who was on the second atomic bomb. And be like, he was the second man to walk. He was on the second group to walk on the moon. Everybody's like, I don't know who that is. So I'm going to have to take your word on that. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't be like, he was on the first. And everybody's like, ah, oh, it was Neil Armstrong. You do that. You, do, you make up things, but you, you make them sound believable. Yeah, that's that's called um, lying. <laughs> but if you write it on paper, <laughs> then it's a uh, story. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I also have a bad habit of when I get tired of a story, like when I've told the story and I have to wrap it up, I'm like, let's get this shit wrapped up as quick as possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, he dropped the bomb, got the <laughs> got the girl, uh, got the badge, and... Uh, that's it? Yeah. I like how Tommy's group had been captured. And then that's it. That's all you know. Yeah, no battle story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Here so we this go. this is a different one? This is a different story. These are okay. all... About a page long. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I've just seen a couple what, of keys. This one about Bill? Yeah, this one's about Bill. Okay. I've just seen some words throughout here that I think you're going to get. Okay. So okay. are you going to buy this story? I don't know. Bill was dusting the porcelain. I got a. It makes me sound like an asshole, but my family didn't have porcelain growing up. It was like, how do I make Bill seem 
important. What do you mean porcelain? You mean like knickknacks? I guess um, when I first said, I meant the you know blue and blue and white pottery. And you'll see why I was thinking uh, that later. Okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't have that growing up either, but I do remember those little knickknack things. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Bill was dusting the porcelain knickknack things. <laughs> okay. He. I don't know what this is supposed to mean. He ingeniously used two rags. Ingenious. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. He hired. I think it's hired. H i r d. Hired. <laughs> he hired lackeys to do uh, his work. Right, of course, of course. The china had painted plumage on them. Mm. Mm-hmm. The lackeys were street urchins. <laughs> oh my goodness. You gotta, I gotta feel like I was watching a lot of Disney at this time. I w- yeah. I mean, who even uses that term? I'm guessing it was a thesaurus. <laughs> they found an old saber. Mm, like like a sword. Yep. Okay. It belodged to a Chinese <laughs> man clearing. Huh. A what now? M A N C L A R I N. Maybe Mandarin. I have no idea, honey. I think it might be two words. <laughs> it belonged to a Chinese man named Sa. Ah, uh, okay. I think that should have been a race, but it was one of those lazy erase <laughs> jobs. <laughs> okay. Bill was a bereaved. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Just so you know, Bill's sad. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. <laughs> I did it again, though, so maybe I... Manclarin? That must be a word that I looked up at some point. He was supposed to be the Chinese Manclarin, but gave it up to protect street ur- urchins oh. and lackey and kings. <laughs> wow, so noble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like, I got these people on the street, I got these people not doing anything, and kings, fuck the rest of you. <laughs> these are my <laughs> three <laughs> focuses. Such a noble Manclarin. <laughs> yeah. Such a noble man, Clarin. <laughs> All he had was a black ninja suit, a oh. saber, and the memory of Saw. Did he have throwing stars too? No. All he had <laughs> <laughs> was a black suit, a saber, and the memory of Saw. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Bill was from America. He came oh. to China to learn ninja stuff. Such now, an American thing to you say. You have to look. Look at the <laughs> spacing. Like it was like fill this page. <laughs> it's, look at the yeah, spacing. You're like I'm. I'm gonna bigger. fill this damn page. All right. So up uh, here, up here, we got like seven words in here. In this sentence, in this line, there's four words. Bill was from America. <laughs> he came to China to learn ninja stuff. Ninja stuff. Now he was the ninja. What? Capitalized. The ninja. The ninja. Saw taught Bill well. Bill, There's also another dead character uh, uh-huh. in here. Okay. Bill was to fight his biggest challenge, another bereaved. <laughs> I feel like I learned that word. Yeah, and you're just uh, like, I'm going to use I it know. everywhere. A bereaved is a, it's just, it's not even a verb. It's a, it's a noun. It's a person. <laughs> I'm... That has to be another word that I thought, like, uh, you know, bequested or something. I have no idea, babe. <laughs> An evil named Kira. Oh. Another well fighting ninja. Well fighting. Mm hmm. Mm. Kira was a. was Saul's main lackey. Of course, the ninja, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> The ninja. The ninja. Bill. I even put little accent mark looking things on the ninja. Oh, look at that. Fancy in. All that. Fought. Uh, so he fought Kara. Oh. Bill used all his senses where Kara. All of them. All, no, wait. All his senses. Even. Sakia. Use six sense. 
to detect where Kira would <laughs> would reaper. I think that's supposed to be reappear. <laughs> uh huh. Where Kara would reaper. <laughs> where she was using giant antiquated farm equipment to <laughs> pull out hay. <laughs> It was finally a show of courage, like walking over the mouth of a volcano, but this walk had plummaged on. Who walks over a mouth of a volcano? Bill. (laughs) Okay. The ninja. The ninja. The ninja. Parenthetical. Bill. Bill went (laughs) first, and after Kira went, he jumped at Bill. Bill went first, Mm -hmm. and after Kira... And after Kira went, he jumped at Bill. Bill ingeniously ducked. Mm. Kira rolled down a mountain. Mm. Mm-hmm. The end. Oh. <laughs> that's the end of the story. Wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's my page. That was done. such a satisfying fight scene. <laughs> well, it's like it's like, and that's one page <laughs> done. <laughs> down Assignment the mountain. finished. Done. <laughs> Take that, Miss. I wish I knew the name. Let's see. There's some other papers in here. Probably shouldn't say the name. Oh, there's a report card. There's a letter. Oh, let me see. A lot of bees. A lot of bees on that report card. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, it looks like your reading teacher. And, yeah. It says reading teacher. (laughs) Uh, Miss Teacher B. I don't know. I don't know if that's a Ms. or Mrs. Or Mr. or Ms. Ms. I don't Whatever. Study skills. Science. Social skills. Oh, keyboarding. Keyboarding is probably a good one. Um. You had a lot of, a lot more classes than I remember having. We had seven in middle school. They're forty five minute classes, but you had them pretty much all year. Oh, yeah. Your school is definitely different than mine. I want you to see this. Oh, language arts here. Teacher t- yeah, teacher T. Another T Tally? Yeah, teacher Tally. I don't remember Miss Tally, sorry. Well, I don't know if it's a miss or a mister. Look at that. Look at the top of that. Promoted. It's circled promoted. Ah, what? Look, look at the top of that. <gasps> oh, I remember those. Uh huh. Nineties S's. Yeah, those S's. When you draw the lines yeah. and connect them. And look at that one. I don't want to be. I don't want to brag, but that's a that's a five S. Uh, yeah, a, that's, that's a combined five S. Yeah, that's uh, it's pretty cool. All right, let's um. I am. Let's read this poem. Okay. I am Chris. <laughs> I hear noises. <laughs> I see what my eyes do. I say what comes out. <laughs> I cry when I fall down hard. Aww. I am not a baby. Aww. I am what I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be popular. Oh. I need friends. <laughs> Aww. I hope for money. I fear stuff that harms. I'm not Fair. afraid. I am Chris. Or no, I'm sorry. I am ready to end school. <laughs> I feel what I touch. <laughs> I try to reach my goal. I wander to places i dream of a dream i am chris wow yeah i can tell you a lot has changed since you've written that poem you do not hear noises anymore and you do not see that's true and i'm popular i have friends yeah you do have friends (laughs) yeah all right well that's pretty much it that i had was um, that other one you said you were going to come back to you it? Wanted, you want to do the autobiography? I mean, we have we have a few minutes. All right, let's uh, let's skip the PPE, not the PPE, the PII. Um, <laughs> Corona. The Corona. The what now? Uh, PPE is the personal protective equipment. Yes, I know that. I have uh, to wear it every day. PII is personal identifiable inter- information. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. good call. So, like your birthday and yeah, good stuff call. like that. Um, I am a new baby boy. This is written in first person. This is... Hmm, okay. My mom says I was the cutest of all the baby in the nursery. Aww. I grow, I like stuff, then I hated it. 
Okay. But I always like food. <laughs> Fact has not wavered. Speaking of food, I've changed into the food. Huh? Speaking of food, I've changed in the food. I like, when I was two, I liked peas. Now I cannot stand them. And now that I'm 32, I love peas. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> I got a lot of peas. I, I got. got a, I got a whole warehouse full. I gotta peas. be honest with you. I probably lied about that. I have no clue if I like peas at two, but they were like right about when you're a kid. I, was like, I love peas. You I, probably did. I'm pretty sure I liked peas when I was <laughs> in <laughs> sixth grade. You, you probably did. Yeah, <laughs> I just needed to fill this page. When I was nine, I was very picky. <laughs> now I eat almost. Nothing but party food and guest food. Hot wings, potato chips, steaks. You get the picture. Oh. So like at Super Bowl. Yeah. Okay. I guess. This isn't true, though. I know. You eat a lot of food. I, and I always have. When I, bullshitter. You're t- just a I bullshitter. Was fi- <laughs> yeah. I was filling this page. I was five when I met Byron. We are practically brothers. <laughs> He is faster than me, (laughs) giving him an advantage in football. Oh, wow. Um, There's some stuff about Byron. We'll skip that. You still talk about him a lot. Yeah. We were practically brothers. I know. You guys practically still are brothers. Yeah. Uh, you know, there was that disagreement because he was faster than me. Yeah, yeah, about that. And it gave him the advantage. Advantage, <laughs> <laughs> but only in football. There's a lot of erasing here that I can't really get through. There's a lot of talk about teachers from elementary school. In fact, it's it says it says something about they hurt me. Did your teachers hurt you? I'm sure they did. Oh my gosh! Kinder in kinder what what kind of schooling experience did you have? No, that's not the teachers. That's when we're playing football. Oh. Now I tackle them and walk away. Not proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> I do that when they hurt me. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah. I. <laughs> let's see. I, I'm trying to get the thread of this. Yeah. Most of the time, we will just... There's something about... Ah, uh, when Byron gets mad, he will try to hurt the person... Or persons who did it. Most of the time, we would just look for him and just have fun until he cools down. I told you that because he got that from me. (laughs) (laughs) Always the bad influence you are. Now I tackle them and walk away. I'm not proud of it. (laughs) I do that when they hurt me or my friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can name... (laughs) This is my autobiography. In sixth grade, I can name all my teachers. In kindergarten, there was this teacher. Uh, for first grade, this teacher. Second grade, this teacher. Third page, third grade, this teacher. Fourth grade, this one. Fifth grade, this one. Sixth grade, this one. And um, that's my page. <laughs> nice. No sign off. That is an amazing autobiography. Yeah. You know what? If I uh, ever publish one, it's just going to be that. <laughs> just copy it. Just copy it. <laughs> word for word. It's just going to be the teachers I had throughout schooling. <laughs> Random lies about food that I don't like anymore. <laughs> uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. That is, wow. It's it's kind of fun to look back on uh the embarrassing moments of our school history. I the know. only really embarrassing part to me is how many people in my... There's, that's it. That was the whole book. And everyone died. Yeah. Yeah, they did. I and know. What is up with that? Yeah. And you know, in my stories now, everyone dies. Yeah. That hasn't changed. Uh, that's but interesting. In everyone's story, everyone dies. <gasps> that's, that, that's that sixth grade deepness <laughs> right there. I don't like that. I don't like that. All right. Well... This um, is a fake... Oh, uh, a fake uh, check. Uh, and a fake deposit slip for Greystone. Why are you paying Publix? 
Oh, for groceries. Yeah, why would you? Because <laughs> I don't steal, Nona. What's riches for jewelry? Who are you buying jewelry for in sixth grade? You had a puppy? I did. And you b- went to PetSmart with your fake check? Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, I didn't buy anything from riches for anybody. Nona, did you not hear my poem? I needed friends. <laughs> Look, this uh, this assignment, I just finished the page with a clock and tally marks. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> when was this That's fucking class? That's a good-looking clock, though. Yeah, that's a good-looking clock. Was that math? Mm, yeah, my math? I don't... I don't... I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, you got a check plus on I that one. I got a check plus. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting one. Uh-oh. The male sex gland is the testy. The female sex gland is the ovary. What? Who has taught you these lies? That's right. And <laughs> I got o- I spelled ovary right and misspelled testy. Testy. <laughs> ovary. What's the weird part is this is how I would still spell testy. <laughs> how did you spell it? T S T E S T I E. Test high. Test high? How do you spell it? I'm pretty sure it's T S T E E. Testy. Maybe. <laughs> I don't call them that. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't talk about testes in my daily life, so. I call I call them the below dicks. The, b- <laughs> the below dick. Oh my god. Mm. Uh, Left B D and right B D. Oh, okay. Okay. Well. Maybe yeah. you're, you're probably not alone on that, but yeah. it's still weird. That's the hell of a fucking way to end the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> it's right yeah. There Great. Dick and balls. Jo- we almost got all the way through without dick and balls. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm Dick, this is Balls, and we'll talk to you next time.